but we've never had an ex-president that has a four-year record from a very different political point of view versus a, what will be a four-year record. So when people are looking at the price of gasoline, the price of, of eggs and meat and mortgages and insurance, car insurance and cars themselves, all the staple things, and they look at the Trump four years, the Biden four years. They look at, were we... Was there a, a war in Gaza? Was there a war in Ukraine? Was there a, mili uh, a humiliation in Afghanistan? Did the Chinese threaten daily Taiwan? Did North Korea back start to threaten people again? Was there a Chinese balloon? No, they can, con they can see that. Was there greater or less racial tension? They can, were, the camp were the campuses this ideologically was there so much anti-Semitism? Was it worse or better? Was Israel stronger or weaker under Biden or, or Trump? And they've come to the conclusion and we were, you know, and they know this uh, because although they won't change course, what the Biden's people are doing is they're saying, we want to replace fossil fuels, but privately we've drained the strategic petroleum reserve to dangerous levels. We're jawboning the Saudis to pump more. We're secretly opening lease, leases, and we've got almost as much gas and oil as during the Trump peak. And we're now asking Mexico, you're afraid, Mr. Obador, as we are of Donald Trump, so why don't just for the summer you clamp down on the security a little bit and not let people in? So they know that their agenda has been injurious to people, but they won't change it, but they want to airbrush it. And that's not going to work. They call it Bidenomics, and they've even dropped that term. They don't use it anymore. It's been a disaster on the, the deficit, the long-term debt, the inflation, the empty, uh, the border, the, the 10 million illegal aliens, the campuses, the foreign policy, the crime that's gone up, and then the sense of who, of in, the sense that the commander in chief is physically and mentally cognitively challenged and is not up to the job. And that's an issue that the voters think is not necessarily age related because apparently they think Donald Trump, who's only two years younger, could, could do, would have no problem. And I think they're probably right about that, being commander in chief again.